Is the iPhone 8 worth it? That's the question we're going to be answering in today's video. So hey guys, how are you? My name is Jack and if you haven't seen my face before, it means you're not subscribed to my channel. So make sure you hit that big red subscribe button down below. And once you're out of there, you might as well hit the thumbs up button there as well. And let's know that you are enjoying these videos. The question we are answering today is, is the iPhone 8 worth the money or worth what you're doing with it? It's going to be broken down into three different things that we are considering today. Is the performance worth it for the money? Is the, is the design worth it for the money? And what are you going to be doing on this phone that justifies you getting this new phone? So first of all, you want to ask yourself the question as what are you doing daily on your phone? Are you using the camera a lot? Do you justify upgrading quality for camera? Are you basically just checking emails? Are you doing basic things that don't require a lot of power and performance on this phone? If you're a intensive gamer and you like to have the most powerful and the best phone, then obviously you need to get the iPhone 8. But if you're just basically checking emails, browsing the internet and basically just doing text messaging and basically checking social media and you're doing basic things that don't require a lot of power and uh, the best camera, then I would stick with the phone you have. If you're on the 7 Plus, I really wouldn't recommend upgrading the it's not worth it financially, but if you're on the 5S or the 6, then maybe you might want to upgrade to the 8 because at that point your two-year contract is up and then you can upgrade to the 8. But if you're at the 7, like I don't really see the point why you should upgrade or even the 6S. I mean, you don't really need to upgrade at that point because, I mean, the cost doesn't really justify the small features. Of course, if you want features like wireless charging and an A11 Bionic chip, then by all means, you should go and purchase that new iPhone. But um, if those features don't really matter to you and your other phone's working perfectly fine, there's no reason for you to go out and shell out tons of money. Um, the looks and the design look really good, but I mean, again, it all comes down to do you want to spend that extra money? And taking a look at the specs here from this phone, we're looking at an A11 Bionic chip, we're looking at wireless IQ charging, we're looking at a 12 megapixel dual camera if you get this 8 plus. And if it's just a regular 8, the, it's got a new um, sensor in it and it allows you to record up to 1080p, 240 frames per second in slow-mo, or um, 120 at 4K. It's 4K at 60 frames per second and you can do 4K at uh, 120 frames a second in slow-mo. Um, you've got all of those awesome features that you don't get in the 7, so I mean, if that's something you really like doing, then yes, absolutely. Um, you've got your um, glass back and your glass front. You have also don't have the headphone jack, but you didn't have that in the 7 either, so I mean, again, it just all depends on what you're looking for in your phone specifically. So yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. I hope it helped you out a little bit. I hope it made your decision a little bit easier. Personally, I'm still on the iPhone 6 and it still works good enough for me. So I don't really see upgrading at any point in the future. So uh, in my opinion, it all depends on your circumstance. Answering the question for the final part, it all depends on your circumstances and your needs and your whatever. Ask yourself the question, do you use your phone enough to justify spending that extra money? So I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, be sure to hit that big red subscribe button down below and make sure that you comment down below letting me know if you think it's worth it or not. And make sure that you give this video a big old thumbs up and I will see you guys later. And take care and I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, bye guys.